Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. The more I think of life, the more I am impressed with our complete dependence on other people who do their jobs while seldom being noticed. If something goes wrong with my car, I shout for help. I could not do my work for a day without my contact lenses or glasses. When something goes wrong, there is always someone there to mend it in a matter of hours. It takes so many people in the background to enable any of us to go on doing our work. And the trouble is that we so often take them completely for granted. We only need to consider so simple a thing as how we get to work in the morning. How different it would be if there was no wife or mother to help make sure we get out of bed in time, to get a breakfast prepared and on the table, and to see that we get out the door in time to avoid being late. We seldom think of the person who drives the bus or the train or of the policeman who directs the traffic as directly serving us. In fact, we seldom remember that the bus or the train even has a driver. I am quite sure that far more often than we do, we should stop to think how we are all bound up together in the bundle of life, that we should stop every now and again to remember our utter dependence on other people, that sometimes we should stop to look at our own work and to see in it, whatever it is, not something by which we earn a wage, but something which is contributing to keeping the world going and something in which we must, therefore, take some pride. We ought at least sometimes not only to thank God for our work, and not only to thank Him for the health and strength and knowledge and skill to do it, we ought also to thank Him for the great number of ordinary people doing ordinary jobs, for they are the most important people of all. Without them, no one would ever be able to get any work done at all. Thank God for the men and women in the background. What about you today? When is the last time you thought about and acknowledged with gratitude those who serve in the background of your life? Do you realize that much of your success is due to their consistent and often thankless contributions? Why not ask God today to help you be more aware of and appreciative of those people who work in the background to make your life better? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Thank you.